Now, the late former president Daniel Arab Moy left an enduring legacy in Kenyan sport, the highlight being the development of major sports infrastructure. This led to Kenya hosting its most high-profile sports event to date, the All-Africa Games, from Nyayo having his fimbo snatched by Muhammad Ali to his lasting effect on the Kenyan Premier League, veteran journalist Roy Gashui, who covered Moy in sports for two decades, shares more anecdotes on the late president. The late former president Daniel Arap Moy's term in office began on a star-studded note. Former heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali visited Nyayo at State House in 1980. Ali had been sent by the American government to convince Kenya to side with the U.S. in the Cold War and boycott the Olympics in the then Soviet Union, which Kenya did. And Muhammad Ali. Uh, motioned to Moy, uh, some, he said something, I couldn't hear it because of the distance, he quizzically looked at the button and then Moy made as if to show him what it was, and, but Muhammad Ali just took it, he just took it and then paused very nicely with the button. <laughs> he, uh, Moy was flustered. Under Moy, the country's two biggest stadia were constructed. Prior to him, Nairobi's city stadium was Kenya's premier stadium. Nyayo National Stadium was conceived as a facility, as a sports facility in 1957, but it was not built until 1983. The Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup would be the first tournament hosted in the 30,000-seater stadium. Never forget Ambrose Ayoi scoring the first goal in the stadium, the golden boy. The Moi International Sports Complex in Kasarani would be next. Um, he built uh, Kasarani Stadium for the All-Africa Games and uh, the Games were supposed to open 86, they were not, uh, Kenya was not ready yet, but 87, Kasarani was ready. Moy milked all the publicity he possibly could, anything and everything. He attended volleyball, judo, boxing, football, athletics. Arguably one of the most strategic Kenyan politicians in history, Nyayo's political hand was also felt in the local football league. Moy held a leaders conference in the Kenya Institute of Administration, which is today the Kenya School of Government. That meeting resolved that all names, all, organ, all clubs with tribal names must shed them and put on names that uh, ref, uh, reflect a national outlook, as he called it. Consequently, Abaluya Football Club became AFC, Maragoli United became Imara, and Gemma FC became Transcom FC. Gormahia controversially refused a name change, causing uproar. Then one day, Moi came from Nigeria. He, was, he had gone for a state visit in Nigeria. And upon landing at the airport, he said, Ah, Gormahia can keep their name. Yeah, they should not change. <laughs> Kenya was a different place. It was Nyayo everywhere, Nyayo, 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 you know, just chanting Nyayo, thanking him very much, as if he's not the one who had started that fire. While the former president excelled in visibility and presence, he fell short in policy. Coupled with the problem of corruption, the effect of government has not been felt, has not been felt by sports people. Former President Moy also saw his sports fandom extend to his children, with his eldest late son, Jonathan, a rally driver. The late Moy drew mixed reactions, but his effect on the Kenyan sports scene is undeniable. He'll definitely be remembered well by uh, the sports fraternity in this country.